Well, Lana is another story. Uh, she was uh, trained by a trainer who, whose name is Dwayne Rombaugh, if I'm not mistaken in pronouncing uh, the name. So, uh, Dwayne uh, uh, trained black chimpanzee whose name is Lana to use a kind of artificial language. It's, uh, it's called Yurkish. Yurkish is what is about a, symbol, a set of symbols. Each symbol represents a word on a large keyboard and that keyboard linked to a computer. When Lana wanted some water, she had to find what? To press four symbols. Each symbol presents a word. So, she, if she wants, a, if she wants water she, to produce a sentence like this one, please, machine, give water. Give water to Lana, of course. Now, she had to what? To press four keys each of which represents uh, a word, as you can see here. So press four symbols to produce the message. It's a message, uh, as illustrated in this figure. Both Sarah and Lana demonstrated an ability to use what looked like, again, what looked like word symbols, and basic structures in ways that superficially resemble the use of language. Again, we don't have a natural representation of language. You have a super natural, super Official, mustana, not real, but it is a close to be real. There is, however, a lot of skepticism, shukuk, skepticism, sorry, regarding these apparent linguistic skills. It has been pointed out that when Lana used the symbol for please, she did not have to end. So Lana was not able to understand what is emotionally the word please means. She trained to choose this, this symbol, but she was not able to understand the meaning of please. Something related to passion is only for a human. I mean, in, in selecting the words, I don't mean if these uh, are, uh, they have passion and feelings. No, I don't mean this one. I mean, so Lana didn't know the meaning. She was not very passionate with the, with the meaning of please, but she was trained to press this key when she wanted something. Uh, understand the meaning of English word, please. The symbol for please on the computer keyboard might simply be equivalent of a button on a vending machine. And so the argument goes. Still, we are arguing whether or not these, these chimpanzees <clears throat> were able to produce human lang language. So, what is necessary to know that is this is uh, um, only one of the many arguments that have been presented against the idea. So, this is very important that the use of signs and symbols by these chimpanzees is similar to the use of language. Is it really similar to the use of language? So, uh, in the coming sections and subsections, we are going to uh, know more about this argument, al Habi Jadaliya. To know more about it, to understand what 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 is the meaning of the the successfulness of these uh, experiments done by those trainers and scholars as well. The controversy about uh, the chimpanzees were able to produce or to, to generate something new, which was not learned to them, continues uh, in this section on the basis of his work with another chimpanzee called Nim. The uh, physiologist Herbert Therese argued that chimpanzees simply produce signs in response to what to the demands conducted by people and tend to repeat signs those people use. Yet, um, they are treated by native researchers as if they are taking part in a conversation. As in many critical studies of animal learning, the chimpanzees' behavior is viewed this is the controversy, as a type conditioned response to cues provided. So, uh, what uh, uh, what uh, Torre is trying to say is that <clears throat> chimpanzees uh, yielded to uh, to what to respond to some uh, provided human to some gestures or some signs uh, provided by those human trainers. But they are not still able to uh, to take part in a conversation. However, it seems like a conversation taking part in, but it is by eventually, eventually it is not a conversation. 
it's not similar, but it is something else. As in many critical studies of animal learning, the chimpanzee's behavior is viewed as a type of conditioned. You see, when we say conditioned, مشروطة, response to cues provided by those tra trainers. Herbert, a conclusion was what that chimpanzees are clever. So this is what this is what he wanted to say, that they are clever. Okay, clever creatures who learn to produce a certain type of behavior, S assigning or symbol selection or whatever, in order to what to get rewards. This is her, his own claim, his own argument that these animals that we were talking about previously are clever. They were able to produce some certain types of behavior that is similar to humans, but this is for getting a reward. يعني الحصول على مكافأة and are essentially performing sophisticated tricks. Now the reply <coughs> from the gardeners, they said that they were not animal trainers, nor were they inculcating يعني يغرسوا في ذهن and then eliciting conditioned responses. Their proof, their evidence, was washu in complex experiments designed to eliminate any possible provision of cues <clears throat> by whom they showed that in the absence, this is the, her, their own argument about the gardeners, that in the absence of, and this is هذا هو الرد على من على 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 Herbert Race, uh, that in the absence of any animal, washu could produce correct signs to identify objects in pictures. The gardeners wanted to say that uh, Washu was able to recognize some objects in pictures and this process was not uh, uh, the, the Washu was not trained to recognize these objects in a picture. So it means what? They were able to uh, recognize these objects by her, by herself. I mean, I mean, Wasu. They also emphasize a major difference between the experiences of Wasu and Nim. While Nim was a research animal in a complex environment, having to deal with a lot of different research assistants uh, who were often not fluent in American Sign Language, Wasu lived in a more limited domestic environment. So she was not given every possible uh, uh, domestic environment with a lot of opportunity of imagine. So she was not well, she was not trained to imagine. So this is the question. Imaginative play and interaction with the fluent singers, uh, signers, sorry, who were, signers means those who use sign language, who were also uh, using sign language with each other. They also report, again with the gardeners, that another group of young chimpanzees not only learn sign language, but also occasionally use signs with each other. So the trick here is what? How were these chimpanzees able to use sign language with each other? Not with a human, but with a chimpanzee to another. Each other and with Wasu as well. Even when there were no human present. So but in the absence of humans, these some other chimpanzees, aside from Wasu, were able to to use sign language with each other, with Washu as well. Uh, <coughs> Kanzi, uh, as, uh, in a more recent uh, experiment uh, uh, um, or study, an interesting development relevant to uh, this controversy came, came about almost by accident. When, while Sue Savage uh, Romba was attempting to train uh, Bonobo, Bonobo is a chimpanzee with black face and black, black fur, called Matata, how to use the symbols of Yerkish. Matata's adopted baby, small baby Shinu Ismakanzi, was always with her. Asadna al Um, Alati Tabanet, Hav al Kanzi. Uh, was always with her. <clears throat> it means that they raised in the same environment. Although Matata, شوف, although Matata did not do very well, she was Matata was not able to to uh, to understand or to be in line with with the with the with the experiment. Her son Kanzi spontaneously started using the symbols system with great ease.
it was very easy for Kanzi to what to respond uh, to these symbols or symbol symbol system. He had learned not by being taught and Kanzi doing tadrib, but <clears throat> by being exposed to. And this is another question about language exposure. Um, it is actual note the um, uh, the correct time to talk about language exposure and language observation. This is something else in um, a wider field and a more complex one. Maybe in the future you are going to uh, know more about language exposure and language observation, but it is not the uh, proper time to talk about this and to go in deep to know more about this one. A kind of language in use at every early age. Kanzi eventually developed a large symbol vocabulary over 250 forms. By the age of eight, Kanzi was reported to be able to demonstrate understanding of spoken. Again, uh, here there is another uh, call, another question to know how that Kanzi was able by age of eight to understand 250 forms of language. At the same time, Kanzi was not trained to do that. At a level comparable to a two and a half year old, so uh, Kanzi, uh, Kanzi's understanding of these forms was similar to a baby uh, uh, on age of two and a half years, half year old. There <clears throat> was also evidence that he was using a consistently distinct set of gentle noises um, as words to refer to things such as bananas grapes and juice he had also become capable of using his symbol system his own symbol system to ask to watch his favorite movie so all these evidence uh, um, things uh, done spontaneously by kanzi although kanzi was not trying to use these or to put or to combine some particular words asking for something to watch his favorite movie or something like that now, uh, using language, <clears throat> it's very important. Uh, lessons have been learned from attempts. Again, here we have attempts to teach chimpanzees how to use forms of language. We have answered some questions. Were Washu and Kanzi capable of taking part in interaction? يعني قادرين على التحدث with humans by using symbol system chosen by humans and not chimpanzees? The answer is clearly yes. They were able to communicate. But in which way? Did Washu and Kanzi go on to perform linguistically on a level comparable to human child about to begin preschool? The answer is no. They were not able to develop uh, recognizably, significantly, that uh, form of language or the linguistic form of language. In arriving at these answers, we have had to face the fact that uh, even with a list of key properties, we still don't seem to have a non-controversial mm -hmm. definition of what using language means. Still, the, uh, the question about what is the meaning of using language is not answered. One solution might, and when we say might, there is that limited possibility to uh, be to stop thinking of language, at least in the phrase using language as a single thing that one can uh, either have or not have. We could then say there are at least two ways of thinking about what language means. In a very broad sense, language, this is the meaning of, um, um, of the using the language or the use of language, serves as a type of communication uh, system. So language is what for communication that can be observed in different situations that can be observed and then learned in different situations in one situation we look at the behavior of a two-year-old human child interacting with a caregiver as an example of using language now this is of course to uh, to know more about uh, the use of language it starts right from early age of uh, a, a human baby uh, who would uh, who, who uh, normally uh, starts to interact with the caregiver, 
let's say the parents, maybe the uh, anybody who is uh, around that baby. In another situation, we observe very similar behavior from chimpanzees and bonobos when they are interacting with the humans they know. Again, here where we have to, what to stress that humans they know. So are they going to interact with uh, similarly with the humans they don't know? This is another controversy. It has to be fair to say that in both cases, we observe the participants using language. So they were able to use the language, but for uh, but with different arguments, with different controversies. Are they able to develop that system of language? This is one thing. Are they able to uh, interact with the humans they don't know? This is another uh, uh, argument. So there is a difference underlying two years old communicative activity in is the capacity to develop a complex. So human babies were, are able, sorry, to develop a very complex system of using the sounds and structures. They put the sounds together to form words, and they put words to form sentences. In the beginning, these sentences may be uh, no farther than the syntax from the grammar, but later they will develop the grammar of their language plus the computational procedures that will allow the child to produce extended discourse containing a potentially infinite number. So the human, human baby, uh, of course, normal human babies, will be able to work to, uh, in, when they are given uh, the, the proper environment to develop an infinite, this is about the creativity again, infinite number of novel, novel means new, uh, novel utterances. They may develop utterances that uh, they uh, have not used before. No, uh, it depends on the situation, it depends on the occasion, of course, and then the, the child may uh, uh, develop things that uh, have not been uttered before. No one, no other creatures has been observed using language in this sense. So those, uh, these experiments talked about the ability of some clever animals to uh, uh, to learn the gestures or the signs from their own trainers. It's okay. Uh, limitedly, they were some of them were able <clears throat> to develop a particular system of using the form of language. Not the words. They were not able also to pronounce a very clear uh, pronunciation of, yeah, of the words they learned. It is, um, uh, sorry, it is in this more comprehensive and productive sense that we say that language is uniquely human. So language is uh, only for humans. Why? Because humans have the properties, the properties we talked about previously, to develop or to uh, yeah to develop to create to produce and to uh, arbitrarily select some objects that ref these are to select words that these words do not refer or there is no natural connection or linkage between the the word itself with the object they represent um, and this I think we come uh, to the end of the chapter I hope you um, enjoy listening. Uh, to these ideas uh, presented in the video. Thank you very much.